I am red, you may be wondering, it's because I missed my flight. I was in Amsterdam Schiphol for hours and I went to the wrong gate and at the last minute I received a text saying that my boarding was almost finished but I was still in there and it wasn't the same company and I was confused and now I missed my flight and all the counters are closed and I don't know what I'm going to do. <sighs> Never a dull moment, I swear. So it is now, um, let me see, 11, um, well, way past 11 p.m. Um, I have rebooked a new flight tomorrow morning at 9.30 with a new company, which costed me extra money that I don't really have right now, but it would have been more, more expensive to cancel the whole thing, so I went for it. and. I'm going to check the hotels, but I think it's going to be an all-nighter at the airport because last-minute um, airport hotels are quite expensive. So yeah, but hopefully my life will become a little less eventful in the future because it is exhausting. It makes pretty good content, but I think it will be better in the future if my life was a little bit less in in in. Anyway, I see you when I see you. Bye. Okay, so there are showers and there is a hotel. I'm going to give it a go, see if it works, see if there is spots available and if it's not too expensive. Let's go. Once I'm back in Uppsala, I am not going anywhere for a year. You guys will come to me. I am not going anywhere, I can tell you that much. I'm done with airports and I'm done with moving around and everywhere. I'm gonna stay put in one spot. And yes, I ended up taking a trolley anyway because at this point, your girl needs her trolley. <laughs> okay, guess what guys? I found a hotel room. This is, I welcome you to the family room, aka toilets just bigger toilets. So I went for this because it's big enough. I know some people in Tokyo actually live in this kind of space. So, and plus I have available toilets in every, whenever I, I, I need to be. I can take off my shoes, I can just relax. I'm gonna probably locate myself on this bench here. Try and get some sleep at some point, but we'll see. I think I'm just going to watch one or two episodes and then try to sleep. This actually reminds me of a YouTuber, uh, Simone Giersch, Giersch, I don't know. I'll put her link, the link to her, um, to her channel down below, um, where she locked herself up in a bathroom for 48 hours. So I won't, it's not my bathroom, thank, thank God it won't be 48 hours, but I feel like it's along those lines, you know, so anyway. Yeah, so I just splashed some water on my face hoping for a miracle. As you can see, non-effective. Uh, still blemishes everywhere, out of stress. I'm getting hungry because I didn't eat anything in the airport because I was planning on grabbing a free snack in the plane, which didn't happen. So, but you know, good thing. At least I have unlimited amount of water and a quiet space. I think I would make a very poor refugee. <laughs> I know, I know, politically incorrect, but it's past politically correct anyway. Turns out it goes back to free after a while, so back to the drawing board once again.
she is rested, she is fed, she slept, and she's on her way to the concert. So here we go. <laughs> anyway, I'm just so happy. I'm going with a friend. Um, I can't believe I booked the ticket two years ago before the pandemic and I'm going now <laughs> of all timings so come along with me let's go guys I have to say so nice to be back in the city ah, I don't know I just feel so much at home like it's a little bit like coming back to Uppsala you'll see in the future vlog but I just know all the streets I know everything it's my town it's my little city and I know it's so thrilling especially coming back at this time after almost a year for a Wadjurana concert I don't know it's just I don't know I'm just I feel so blessed Hashtag blast. <laughs> the feeling home thing and um, I've noticed that when I stay too long in one place I feel like I don't grow anymore and I, I feel the need to leave um, and to create a new home and on the other hand now this has shifted and I feel the opposite I feel like I need to stay in one place to grow like plants <laughs> um, so just you know food for thoughts uh, are you so like this is this something that you relate to um, and also I have to say it's just um, feeling home in many different places and just feeling home is in general I think it's such um, such a rich and wealthy in a way and blessed feeling that it's just it's kind of worth it but I don't know I'm also ready to as you know I'm ready to just have my stuff in one place settle and everything but I'm just worried of my own, of myself, of the way I function. Is that if I stay, because I could have stayed in Dublin, but just the way I function so far is that I have this belief that if I stay too long in one place, I've stopped growing, which is not necessarily true, but it's, you know, it's programmation in my head. So yeah, we'll see how that goes in the future.
Fucking hell, that was a long wait. It's, uh, yeah, first time performing in, in Dublin. And, and I'm thinking we need to come more often. We're gonna do one last song for you tonight. There used to be songs for all sorts of occasions. When you were, you were born into this world, you were welcomed with songs. Um, when you were sowing the fields, there were songs, reaping them, picking apples or spinning threads or baking bread. There were songs. And also when someone passed, you were sung across to the other side. And this song is born after that idea. Mm -hmm. Ooh, see me, today I... Today I die. The old songs are gone, so we need to make new ones. And, and you all need to go home and sing more. Because singing is medicine. God, guys, it was amazing, really amazing. It was, it wasn't an, it's not a concert. It's, it's a healing ceremony, and you can feel that they love what they're doing, and it's coming from the heart. And me and my friend, we were all, she and I, we were just vibing so much and feeling both grounded and ascended. And I could feel all my cells just opened up and sucking it all in. And it was just so nice. I had a smile on my face the whole time, pretty much. I was, I was either smiling, meditating, or dancing. <laughs> and it was, it was amazing. And having this in Dublin, with my Dublin crew, not that I was with a lot of people, but I was just surrounded by Dubliners. Ah, oh, so nice.